is going on boys and girls welcome back to a brand new video now today today focus is this car so this is my out well my very dirty audi tt mark one grotto sport now if you don't know already we're actually doing a rest restoration series on that so it's you can click either so i'd never get to know, to know which side it is but click one of the corners that you should probably be popping up uh, you can go see the very start of the restoration to this and it's very much in the progress i mean guys if you could please subscribe also like the video press the bell icon as well because you'll be notified every single time you upload so if you do enjoy videos such as the one that you're about to watch and you also enjoy more videos on audi tt's or anything sort of car related so yeah subscribe five reasons why you should buy an audi tt mark one in 2023 Now the first reason on this list is the looks. This car, in my opinion, looks absolutely timeless. Uh, I absolutely love the angles of this car. This car is, especially the Quattro Sport, obviously others are different. They won't have this like sort of top bit, so this is only specific. When I say top bit, the top bit painted. This is only specific to the Quattro Sport. But as mentioned, I absolutely love this car. The look of it as well the colors that you can buy this car in are absolutely amazing i mean some of the early models as well you can buy the merlin purple which like if you put it on an audi rs6 looks absolutely killer i mean if you look at every single person's tt every owner of a mark one tt is way different and it's very much linked to their sort of personality you've got ones that have huge wide body kits on and whereas obviously other people keep it more tame and, and just sort of enjoy the car as to what it is but i mean even even like the Mark 1 TT, for example, if we were to put aftermarket wheels on this, it sort of just suits the car. You've got all the cars obviously on the market when you put aftermarket wheels on and it just, it just doesn't look right. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck? Definitely love the look of this car. As I say, it's timeless. All of the cars as well are different and that's one of the beauties as well to go into like the shows and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to sort of give you a quick montage to some of the points that I like about the Audi TT. And as I mentioned, this is just my car. There's obviously other models and other customizations that people have done to their car, but I'll show you around my car and then we'll move on to the next point. So enjoy the montage. Now, the second reason, I know I've already mentioned this in a previous video was the five reasons why I love this car, but it still rings true today. One of the reasons as to why I would buy one of these cars in 2023 is the community. The community for these cars are just absolutely insane and growing every single day. In fact, the link that I always leave in the description takes you to a Facebook group with over 32,000 people at this point. And the community on there are always willing to help each other out. And chances are, if they faced a problem, a lot of the times with these cars, they're always the same thing. They're always the same common issues. So if you guys go on there and search, I'm pretty sure you could find somebody that's already had the problem with this car and already fixed it. So there's your problem and there's your solution. 
and on the back of the community side is the aftermarket care for these cars. Now, obviously with there being a lot of TTs on the road, unfortunately, a lot of them, a lot of them obviously are breaking down and breaking because they are an old car. Not everyone likes to look after them as much as probably myself and you. So there are cars out there that unfortunately have been broken, listed on the Facebook page that you guys can go there and buy for cheap because as I just said, there's lots of these cars. And even with this top spec model that I've got, the Quattro Sport, like 95% of the parts compared to the 225 and this car are exactly the same. So even the aftermarket care for these cars, which are, I'd say, quote unquote, the RS version maybe of these cars. There is so many people on the forums and people that are in this market that are specifically created for the 180 and sort of the Audi brand, the VAG brand, I guess you could say, because they all pretty much use the same engines anyway. So yeah, the aftermarket car on these is just awesome. And the aftermarket parts you can buy are pretty cool too. And the third thing I'd say is the character. The character of this car is, well, it's undescribable. I mean, when you're driving this car and the, the creaks and the weird noises that sometimes don't get me wrong, gives you a little bit of anxiety, but that's the whole sort of premises of driving an older car. It's, it's that drama that comes along with it. And so also if you pair it with one of these, I've run that air, air filter that I fitted in a, like a, a, well, I said a previous video, a very, vid, very long video ago. Um, the difference that it makes to this car is insane. The noises that it makes, that you have to spend very little on to be able to sort of really wake this car up and just driving it round town as well. I know it's just an Audi TT and you can pick these up for as little as two grand, the 225 models, and they sound, sound exactly the same as this because it is pretty much the same engine apart from a few letters on the side. But yeah, this the character of this car, like I said, is indescribable. I absolutely love joy, driving this car. It is the one of the few very things in my life as anybody else's life at the minute that's currently going through hardships with bills and all the rest of it. It's one of them things that puts a smile on your face. You enjoy driving it. You don't mind spending, obviously, the money on fuel and things like that because it does, at the end of the day, your mental health is the most important thing. And this, this for me, helps me a lot. And it's definitely a form of like therapy, I guess you could say. But yeah, the drama and excitement and just the character of the car, I, I, I love it. And like, dare I say, can you really get anything as sort of dramatic as this for maybe like two grand that sounds like this and drives like this that's four wheel drive? Probably not. And uh, I forgot to mention as well, if you guys are interested on in how this drives and how this sounds, I'll put a link in again. I don't know which corner it is. Go watch the video. It's a POV of me driving this car. There is another POV shortly coming soon on the channel. However, that's the most current one. So go watch that. It's, it's a good video and it's full of really nice, nice noises. Go watch it. So the fourth point I talk about is, I sort of touched on it in the last one, these cars are cheap. Not so much the Quattro Sport, the 225s, the 180s, that sort of model, like 90,000 miles, if a car's been looked after, I mean, I've seen some of these cars go up to like 300K, which is kind of mad. So these cars are fairly cheap for what they are. As mentioned, if you really shop around, you can buy ones that as well, if people want a quick sale for like 2,000 pound. And like to get a car like this for 2,000 pound, there's Quattro that makes the right noises. It's, it's so exciting, obviously, now it's 2023, as you probably already know this or don't know this, Audi have stopped making the Audi TTs. So there is no more Audi TTs. They stopped at the Mark III. So I think this will sort of push that decision, plus probably a few more years, will push the Audi TT Quattro Sports and the other models will push it into the sort of future classics uh, bracket, which why I sort of mentioned within 2023, why you should buy one of these cars because me personally, I can only see the car actually going up. And if you're willing to spend a little bit more money on the Quattro Sports, as mentioned, people are getting rid of their cars, whether or not it's Quattro Sports, they are being broken. There's 1,165 models of the Quattro Sport come out. Now there's probably like around 400 on the road, maybe. Obviously, as that number goes down, the price of these will go up. And it's not really often you can buy a car like nowadays, obviously before you could, and it will go up. But buy a car now that sort of holds its price and potentially even will go up in the future once this becomes a future classic. 
even just talking about the price of these cars, me personally, I don't know if it's where I live or just how it is, but this car as well was very cheap to insure. I've got no, no claims on this car. So I mirrored it from my actual original car onto this, which I have about 11 years, I think. I have 11 years on this car and it was with a plan. I pay 400 pounds for this car, which compared to like other companies and I won't really name them, uh, you know, uh, other modified car insurances. They wanted to charge me like over a thousand pounds for this car. And I don't really see why, like it, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, if you guys are interested in also modified car insurance, go down below. But one thing I will say is a tax on this car is not cheap. Uh, tax is quite expensive on this car. I think it's just cause it's an old car and yeah. But yeah, tax on this car is like 315 pound um, a year, which kind of sucks, but I mean, there's no way around it unless you don't want to tax it, but. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to the last reason as to why you should buy one of these cars in 2023. And that is because it is a great project car. Now, sort of taking all them points that I've just mentioned into consideration, this car is, is, is perfect. It's cheap to buy, obviously a little bit expensive to run when it comes to tax, but insurance is not too bad. And obviously just working on the parts as well. The, Parts are extremely cheap on this. And at this moment in time, everyone's, at this moment in time, it's nice to be able to sort of have something to work on. Like this project car doesn't cost a million pounds. It's, it's fairly cheap. These obviously, as, the, as I mentioned, the Quattro Sport is a little bit more expensive. But if you were to go for the cheaper model, spend about two grand, all the parts are available to buy on these cars, like second hand, as I mentioned in point two, I think. The mods you can do on the engine are loads, and this is all as well confirmed on my channel. I don't really know much about cars whatsoever, and if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you guys can as well. But I, as I mentioned, I bought this car for me for something for me to work on, and it is getting there. There is obviously, uh, there we go. <laughs> there is this, and like things like this, but. Obviously, I'm gonna make videos on that. I'm gonna show you how guys to, how you can fix it. So yeah, this car for me is literally the definition of a project car. Something that breaks, not gonna lie, but it's never let me stranded. Oh God, I've just drinks that now and I, damn. But yeah, this car is, it's been perfect for me. Something I've been able to sort of work on on the side. As you guys know, all I have is a Halfords toolkit and I'm just able to work on this car. So definitely something you should consider as a project car. If it's something that sort of takes your mind off what's going on at the minute. I know the initial cost of 2000 pound is a lot to, for some people and I appreciate that, but I promise you the 2000 pound that you will probably spend on this car is something that you won't regret. And if you really needed to, and times did hit even tougher than they are now, you could sell this car, obviously remove the parts from it, sell them separately, because there is people out there that still want to buy the parts off the car if you do have anything. As mentioned, there's a market for that. And also, if you wanted to get rid of the car, chances are you probably won't lose money as well, because once you hit about £2,000, like that is the sort of lowest when it comes to uh, one of these cars. But yeah, I'm going to go because it is starting to rain. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I actually really enjoyed making this because it sort of reminded me as to why I bought this car and why as well you should buy this car in 2023. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you had enjoyed this video, make sure as well you give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel because it does really help out. And also if you have not already, please enable the notifications by clicking that bell because you'll be notified every single time we upload. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get home because it's raining now. You probably can't see it, but trust me, uh, it's now raining. I'm gonna go edit this video and get it up for you guys. But yeah, if you didn't know, the videos every single Sunday, 12 p.m. Don't miss. So yeah, subscribe. And look, we got the tripod as well, because professional on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Josh. This has been the Audi TT and five reasons as to why you should buy one in 2023. And that, boys and girls, the POV. Peace out, guys. Oh, nearly died.